Hi, welcome to Data Engineering. Today we are going to discuss about Hive ORC file format. So in Hive, we have various storage format. Also, we can call it as file format. So one such very familiar and uh, useful file format or storage format is ORC. Let me show you an image. So this image is cut copy paste from Artanox website. So we have various formats like text file format, RC file format, parquet format, and then ORC and we have sequence file format as well. So the very familiar file formats are parquet and ORC. So when, when you store a data while creating a table itself in Hive, you have to mention the storage format. So if you mention it as ORC and you are creating a table, when you store some file, when you load it into that ORC table, your actual uh, size, for example, if your actual file size is 100 GB, when you load it to ORC, it will be just 25 GB. 75 percentage of compression rate, it's been available for ORC. So that means your file size will be get smaller. It will be get compressed when you store it in ORC. That advantage of it, your processing time will get reduced and then your performance will get increased. And I'm showing you the example here, the text file 585 GB. Imagine you have a hive table which text file format, that is a very base format. So when you store some 585 GB of data, in text file format, it will be still 585. But when you store the same text file as RC, it will be like 505, 14 percentage of compression rate. And then when you move it to parquet, then it is 60 percentage of compression rate. When you move to ORC, then it is 75 percentage of compression rate. So you can ask me a question. So if I use ORC file format, the only advantage that I, that I get is the compression rate. No, we have one more advantage. The data that gets stored in ORC file format will be columnar. So generally we have row oriented storage, column oriented storage. When you use column oriented storage, the, the, the aggregations, the query will be very faster. So for example, if you see, I have a record Gautam and then my age 30 and then imagine some salary 100. And then there is a next record with age of uh, 10 and then I have 200 as a salary. Just imagine. Now, if you want to do a sum of age, imagine I want to do a sum of age. If it is a row oriented storage, then first the SQL will read the complete row and then it will fetch 30. And then it will read the second row completely, then it will fetch 10. So then it will do a sum of. But what column oriented will do, directly it will fetch 30 and 10. It won't read the entire row. So that means the lot of time you are saving. So that is an advantage of column oriented storage. So the ORC gives you the column oriented uh, format of storage. The full form of ORC is optimized row column. So now I am going to show you an example as a demo. I create a table, table one with five columns and in the storage format, what I'm using is text file. And I'm loading a file called data 30L, which has like 30 lakh records. I'm loading twice. So that means 60 lakh, 60 lakh records. So the more data volume I, I load, the more I can show you the difference between the ORC and text file. Then I'm, I'm going to uh, uh, create another table, table two with ORC as a storage format. And then I'm doing an insert overwrite. So when you create a table with ORC, you cannot uh, do a load data. You have to do insert into or it has to be come via insert overwrite. Okay. So now I'm inserting uh, a table two with the data from table one. So insert overwrite table two, select star from table one. That means the 60 lakh record from table one will be get loaded to table two as ORC format. Now I'm going to do a count star and I'm going to show you the difference, time difference. And also I will show you the volume of the data after the load for both the tables. Okay, uh, let me uh, go to uh, my terminal. So if you see first, let's uh, let's see the count of it. So if you see here, I have table one here. The count is 60 lakh twice, two times I have loaded as I told you already. So 30 lakh plus 30 lakh, 60 lakh. And then let's see the count of table two as well. If you see here, this is table two, count star from table two. Okay, so this is again 60 lakh. So table one also has 60 lakh count and table two also has 60 lakh count. So I have shared all this DDL in my blog and the blog link has been provided in the description box. You can get this because I have already executed and I'm showing you. So you can run it practically uh, within your machine. I will show you the count command which I have executed. So if you see here, select count star from table two where the total amount is 110 and I'm getting my output here. You can see here 6474 and the total time taken is 21 second. Let's keep it as 22 second. This is table two, which is ORC file format. Now let's, I'll show you the count command of table one, the output. Okay, so if you see here, select 
count star from table 1 the same condition total amount 110 so if you can see here the same output but the time taken is 29.1 second so the ORC format uh, when I execute the count command it took only 22 second but here it took 29.1 second so now the time is getting reduced for the execution time is getting reduced for the ORC table so that the performance will get increased now I will show you the compression stuff as well. So now I'm I'm giving uh, uh, the ls command for uh, you can do you can get it with show create table command. I will show you how can I get the table path where it gets stored. You can give show create table table to and this is the location of your table. Now next uh, you can give this. So again the location has been given here for table one. So now I'll going to give ls for table two and you can see this is the uh, like one file which I'm showing here the volume you can see the size this is in bytes okay. Now I'm going to do an ls for table one and you can see like I have two files. Now I, I'm, I want to tell you one thing because people will get confused like why in table two location I'm seeing two files but table two I'm seeing only one file. So I'll recap it again. See here we did load data in path twice. And so here it is showing us a two file. But for table two, what we did is we cre we inserted table two with select star of table one. So it will merge it these two files when it is storing as ORC file format. That's why here we are having as one file. So to verify this only, I have showed you the count of these two table as the count was ma matching both has 60 lakhs. So that means obviously the files are perfect. Now if you see here, I'll go for calculator. You can see the size 11946286 into 2. This is the actual volume for 60 lakh record in table 1. But if you see in table 2, the volume is 49149012, which is very less, very less compared to this number, right? So obviously the file has got compressed with ORC, but not in text file. And the execution time also got reduced and the performance got increased. That I've showed you with the count example. And there is one more information I want to tell you is ORC file format is it's optional uh, when you create a table you can use whether it is required or not you can decide but there is one case where ORC file format is mandatory if you create an hive ACI table then for sure the storage format need to be ORC only you cannot use text file or park it then you cannot achieve the ACI ACI table mean the table that allows you to do insert and update so you have to enable the ACI while creating the table during that time the storage format needs to be ORC. So in this video, we discussed about ORC and text file. In upcoming video, I'll show you the difference between Parquet and ORC or Parquet and text file. So these videos will I will upload soon. Thanks for watching. If you really like this video, please do subscribe channel and forward this to your friends and colleagues. So I have one more channel called GBlocks. You can get the link. You can get the link in the description box of this video. In GBlocks channel, I am uploading videos related to digital marketing. If you are interested, please do support for that channel as well. Thanks for watching.